cheeses. Come on. Oh, God. Why do you do this almost every morning? You know, what do you guys want from me? Here? All right, well, let's go into the big news crack you've left gaping. <laughs> like a gaping wound this morning. Oh, my God. Wow. Beyonce, Kanye West, Drake, and Rihanna are the top Grammy nominees this year. Fog hat. Snubbed again for oh. the fourth year. Straight <laughs> weird. <Wings> of justice. <laughs> a new picture, Paul, you're going to love this one. A new picture of Game of Thrones actress Maisie Williams, who Ooh. plays Arya Stark, may have leaked, you know, because fans of that show don't already have enough stuff to <laughs> masturbate to, like, like a dragon, a girl on a dragon, and I saw her nipple. Yeah. <laughs> no. awesome. The girl on the dragon, yes, that is a fantasy of mine. <laughs> I've got one dragon. You know that? Yeah. And scientists say eating nuts can prolong life and ward off disease. No wonder Anderson Cooper looks so young. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> Laugh it up, funny boy. Paul and Al, you are a rich, gooey, devil's food cake that I want to drop my face into and go... <laughs> on 94 HJY. Room. Do you mean curlers? I mean remove. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the researchers think it's because shaving and waxing makes your skin weaker and more susceptible to disease. Hmm. Which, listen. I how, mean, do, how about my barber's handlebar mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? I don't know. Ew. Paul took Movember to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> Again, ew. ew. Paul and L. What kind of jag off would do that? 94 HJY. Is this the real life? He told their parents, and now Janine faces <laughs> cruelty to children charges, a misdemeanor, which could mean a fine and 30 days oh, in God. jail. Wow. And Remember, with tape over her mouth. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny is uh, we took calls on nun punishments years ago, and yeah. we got two separate calls. The same nun at some school in Pawtucket. Really? Oh yeah. Well, she would pull what they pull pull their tongues out <gasps> and would whack it with a ruler. Ah. Oh. Mm. Well, I guess those kids didn't keep talking during class though. I'll, I'll yeah. take the tape over the mouth before. That. Right. Oh. I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> oh yeah, Christmas story. Stick your tongue to the pole. Is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> No, that's where your mind went, not mine. <laughs> it doesn't go there. It lives there. <laughs> and now. I think that that's um, pretty perverted. 94 HJY. On holiday gift we like to make fun of, comedian Kevin Nealon seemed to be on the same plane on The Tonight Show. You know, it's hard to find something unique for somebody nowadays. <laughs> Last year, my wife gave me a star as a Christmas gift. I thought that was so sweet and so thoughtful. You know, it came with a certificate, a chart to show you where it was in the sky. They named it after me. It was really great. And then it dawned on me that most of the stars that we see in the sky don't exist anymore. They burnt out years ago. And we're seeing the light coming from, from light years away at us. So basically, last year, my wife got me nothing. <laughs> she may as well have got me a gift card from Blockbuster Video. <laughs> well, there's yeah. a better gift. Really? This Christmas, give them a gift they'll always remember. Name a turd after someone. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rick Rozell, president of the International Turd Registry. And for only $49.95, you can name a turd after that special person in your life. Imagine having a turd named after you. We'll send that special someone a picture of the turd, information on when the turd was taken, and a diagram showing the exact size and shape of the turd. <laughs> and we'll record your turd in the International Turd Registry book, which I keep in my ass. Make this holiday <laughs> one they'll never forget. Honey, I got you something special. Is it an engagement ring? Go ahead, open it. Oh my God, it's an engagement ring, isn't it? Oh my God, you got me an engagement ring! What is, is this a picture of human feces? It's a turd. It's what the hell is wrong with you? I want to be sick. I thought you'd like. <laughs> Tell someone how much you love them by naming a turd after them. Call the International Turd Registry today at one eight hundred Dump Now. Paul and Al mornings on ninety four H J Y thing. It's time for Paul and Al's Wow!
Bad World of Genitalia. And here's our crack reporter, Jen. <laughs> Atalia. <laughs> How are all the Atalia kids? Oh, they're all just fantastic. Hey, good. So what much. you got for us? Uh, remember Mohammed Abad? He's the IT engineer from the UK who got a bionic penis last year. Well, he did an interview and said that he's got about 50 women contacting him, and he's fully recovered from the surgery and wants to end his 40 years of virginity. Uh, he's the one that uh, lost his penis and one testicle in an accident. This is so bad. Where uh, he was 11 years old, he was dragged under a car for several hundred feet. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Obviously, yeah. Uh, belly down. Uh, he uh, now has a button near his new false testicle that makes a uh, thing Wee. work. <laughs> yeah. I know. Is there like an inflation sound? I have a couch like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get home. Yeah. Oh. Hey, yeah, then he calls it Lazy Boy, too. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Lazy Boy. Did your Cardi Brothers do an ad for that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh, he says most of the women who've contacted him say they'd like to make love for hours. Mm. He said that uh, he doesn't think he'd be up for those kinds of marathons since he puts in a 14-hour day at his tech job. And he's a man, uh, but he will be picking a lucky lady soon and giving his new equipment its very first test drive. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Press the right button. <laughs> Call it now. Aren't these boys just silly? 94 HJY. Metal is here with the Metal Zone. Tonight at midnight, get three full hours of ear-splitting, head-banging heavy metal with Scarpetti. The longest-running metal show in the universe is on your home of rock and roll. Today was Stump the DJ, had an awesome session, so here are your highlights. Todd writes, uh, I've had enough of Christmas. All year long, I work my fingers to the bone to buy all the presents that my kids ask for. And what happens Christmas morning? That fat effer with the beard gets all the credit for it. Yeah. Still, I suppose it was my fault for marrying her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, this is a classic. <laughs> Man and a woman had been married some time when the woman began to question her husband. You know, I know you've been around with a lot of women before. How many were there? Husband's like, look, I don't want to upset you. There were many. Let's just leave it at that, all right? <laughs> Wife says, no, 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 really, really, I want to know. So the husband says, all right, let's see. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, you, eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> Hey, I spent two hours in the beauty shop getting my hair permed, cut, and styled, and finally relieved to be done, I went to the receptionist to pay for it. And she looked at me and she said, Good afternoon, who's your appointment with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a classic one from Jeff. We haven't heard this one in a while. Uh, after a long taxi ride, a woman realized she didn't have the money to pay her fare. So when the cabbie turned around and asked for his money, the woman, well, opened her legs and said, why don't you take it out of this? Well, the cabbie takes one look at her and then looks into the woman's eyes and says, uh, don't you have anything smaller? <laughs> can you go back to the phone? Uh, can you set that up again? Redneck know her father was dead. How did the redneck know that her father was dead? How? Yeah. Uh, when she crawled into bed, his whole body was stiff. <laughs> All right. All right. One more. Um, my vacuum cleaner died this week, or broke, you know? Yeah. Great, great. Now I have two things that hang around the house and don't suck the way they used to. Hey, hey Daddy. <laughs> Time to pick the winning joke on Stump the DJ, and it comes from Patrick, who writes, I asked a librarian if there are any books on discrimination against people in wheelchairs. She said, yeah, it's up the stairs on the top shelf to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. Paul and Al. Mornings on 94. HJY. It's time for Creep of the Week. But I'm a creep. And it is uh, kind of local. I'm a I think you should support your local creep. Your local pervert? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, out of Plymouth, Massachusetts, uh, a van driver for the elderly, Robert McNeil, was charged with 10 counts of indecent assault. He admitted in an interview with a district attorney that uh, he had touched the women, but he claims that it was consensual. Now, he shuttled the old folks kind of to and from the health center. Right. Mm -hmm. And 10 of the women, all between the ages of 60 and 80, 
said if they were the last ones to be dropped off by McNeil, mm -hmm. he groped their breasts and, well, that area down below, uh, you know, like our president-elect. Uh, you can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the But uh, unlike, unlike our president-elect, Mr. McNeil is facing criminal charges. Huh. Wow. The old elderly bus. Now, we used to hear the stories about how the el elderly were actually crazy about sex. All about you know being what I mean? promiscuous these Promiscuous days, yeah. and, and more d social diseases right, 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 among right. the elderly and all but, that. But uh, apparently these ladies were... Well, it's got to be a consensual thing. Yeah. And then the bus driver is, you know, looking for more than a tip. It gets very uncomfortable. Paul and L. It's like they just, you know, had a big old... Nasty party. Oh, and out. Morning. One ninety four. HJY. The twenty three year old Elena Ferguson of Plano, Texas, had to cancel her wedding plans next month. Hmm. Well, of course, don't feel too bad for her. Uh, she was just arrested for having sex with one of her sixteen year old high school students. Oh boy. Yeah. The student wrote his Snapchat handle on a test and gave it to Ferguson, and it all went downhill from there. Shortly after speaking on the app, Ferguson met up with the teen where they reportedly had sex on a park bench. How romantic. Isn't that she, snatch chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, yes. Uh, she repeatedly brought the kid to her fiancé's apartment when he was gone. Wow. And uh, That is the biggest double standard in America, at yeah. least from the guy's perspective. Because yeah. you always have the you know the hot teacher and the young guy, yeah. and we're all you know, like high-fiving each other. When it's a guy and a young woman, it's like, that's the creepiest thing I've ever heard of. So I know. from a woman's perspective. But it's a great police song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I have to admit, like when I see younger men, like the younger celebrities and stuff like that, I just don't have it. Like there's no, you know. You're not a younger guy kind of girl. No. Huh? If you were a teacher, we wouldn't read about you in the news is what no, you're saying. No, I don't think so. Okay, good. You might read about the opposite scenario happening, but that's all right. You're like older guys, right, Jim? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Listen, I'm that's you. why she Han works Solo, with us. Man. <laughs> Paul and L. It's like they just, you know, had a big old nasty party. Paul and L. Morning. On 94 HJY. Well, one of the more interesting things in sports last week had to be the uh, Von Miller sex tape. Yes. That uh, the woman, they were going back and forth on a price on the sex tape, and uh, she was interviewed by TMZ. And Why not delete the tape once you get back from Cancun? Well, because I used it to play with myself. Oh, <laughs> That, that inspired simple. a song, I think. <laughs> Von Miller had a girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got a real big behind. But something weird's going on that's kind of hard to define. Von's got himself a girl that plays with herself all the time. And she's watching a video with her guys. And she's playing with herself, I just know it. And she wants 2.5 million to give it back. You know I wish I had Von Miller's girl. I wish I had Von Miller's girl. Why not delete the tape once you get back from Cancun? Well, because I used it to play with myself. Paul and Al, mornings on 94 HJY.